Number five, what do I do with him? A normal person in their daily life does as they please, makes a cup of coffee, makes a nice little lunch for themselves, eats on the sofa, watches some TV. I have a six month old baby who I have to look after and who doesn't like to be put down and needs to be held and cries when he's not held. How do I, what do I, how do, what do I do with him? Number four, what do I do with myself? I'm honestly afraid that I'm gonna go a little bit insane over the next months and never go outside again. Um, oh wait, no, that's not true because my son takes three naps and they all have to be outside walking continuously in a stroller, rain or shine, or snow or sleet. So that'll be fun and is terrifying. Number three, or are you not entertained? I have three moves that keep my son happy. Uh, when I come home at 6 p.m. every day from work, it's okay because I use those three moves and then he goes to bed and thinks I'm the most fun, coolest guy ever. How are those same three moves going to work when I'm the sole caregiver for my son over eight hours? It's a little scary. Number two, it's scary how big a responsibility it's going to be to be the sole caregiver for my son. Um, my wife and I, we try to be as equal as we can, but it's kind of inevitable that when one person stays at home and the other person's at work, the realm of all things children kind of fall on that person at home. For the past six months, that's been my wife, and she's the keeper of all knowledge of our son. And now that's transitioning to me, and it's scary how much I'm going to have to learn and how quickly I'm going to have to catch up and how am I going to have to learn all the schedules and routines and it's a bit overwhelming, um, and I just hope I don't mess up. Number one, the number one scariest thing about being on paternity leave is leaving work, leaving the opportunities, the excitement, the career that you're building for a long stretch of months to focus on a baby. Everyone at work has been super supportive, but inevitably there are going to be opportunities missed. There are going to be fun things, cool things happening at work that I'm not going to be a part of. And as an ambitious person, I want to be a part of all the cool projects, as many cool projects as I can be. And so sitting by, watching the inbox fill up, missing out on knowledge, missing out on development, uh, that's a really scary thing for me. Um, and it's going to take a lot of strength for me to sit back, focus on my child, and try not to worry about all the things I'm missing at work. So, what's your best way of entertaining your baby when you're home alone with it for eight hours a day? Write in the comments below, and I'd love to hear from you. Also, please, 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 please subscribe to this channel. You are, after all, my only contact with the outside world.